Meanwhile, more public opposition to the MTA's congestion pricing plan. New York City's Teachers Union and Staten Island's Borough President have teamed up to try to block congestion pricing. They filed a lawsuit challenging the MTA's claims on how the program will improve air quality. Joining us right now, the UFT President Michael Mulgrew. Nice to have you back on Good Day, New York. Good morning. It's nice to be here. Thank you. So why are you and the Staten Island Borough President teaming up and suing the MTA? Because we actually read their documents, and this was sold as a common good years ago in Albany that it's going to improve the air quality of the city. It's going to improve con uh, traffic of the city. And we're going to raise revenue to help the public transit. That's how it was sold. But the very documents that they submitted said that's only going to happen for one place, Midtown and Downtown Manhattan. And the other four boroughs, it's not improving any of that. In fact, the air quality is going to get worse. So we're taking the pollution from Midtown Manhattan and moving it to the Bronx, to Queens, to Brooklyn and Staten Island. And the two boroughs that are most affected are Staten Island and the Bronx. Well, listen, uh, didn't the MTA said they were going to give money to the Bronx and Staten Island to deal with maybe the rise in asthma and air quality issues? So, so they have, that's part of their plan, but let me be clear, are we deciding as a city and a state that it's okay to pol give more pollution, say in the Bronx? We have a school district in the Bronx with the highest asthma rates in the United States, and that's one of the areas that are most affected by the pollution. So this turns into environmental injustice, which is what the federal government is supposed to stop. Mm -hmm. And they didn't even do a true study. Why not? They just did an assessment. Really? Yeah, they just I thought did, they did the, I, I thought they did uh, a true study on this. No, there's two different things. One is a light, a light touch, like reading cliff notes, and the other is a real deep dive. And even, and, and that's exactly what happened here after 9-11. They did an assessment of the air quality. Mm. And, and the irony of all of this is that was the U.S. Department of Transportation who did this assessment. The Environmental Protection Agency, who we all know did the air quality after 9-11, wrote a letter that we all have that criticize them for not doing the study correctly and saying you can't make the mistake that we made. Okay, I mean, I just got to read a statement from the MTA because they're saying that the environmental review process for congestion pricing involved four years of consultation with government agencies, public outreach meetings, engagement with tens of thousands of public comments, hundreds of pages of painstaking detail, police had considered impacts on traffic and air quality. I mean, they put it out there that they're saying we did a lot of this work for four well, years. We're saying it's not right. Okay, because I read their documents. Negative impact on all of these things in all of the boroughs. Negative, more pollution in all of our boroughs, more traffic in all of our boroughs, quality of life goes down, less parking. It's in their documents. They also said that it's a negative impact on all of them, but it's no big deal. Yeah. That's because they only did an assessment and not a deep dive. So why now? Why are you bringing this lawsuit to the table at this time? We, we felt, knew this was happening for a we while. We felt very strongly we had to wait for these documents to be put in place, for them to say, you know, show us what they did environmentally. And we saw it was an assessment, so we had big questions at that point. Yeah. We started to do a deep dive on that. And then, really, we thought it was, strategically, it was much better to wait for what the tolling program is. Because when they make their judgments, it has to be, for us, it was, how do you make a judgment about how it's going to relieve traffic or not relieve traffic when we don't know what you're charging for the toll? Are we taking into account the pandemic and we've lost Midtown, uh, we've lost drivers in Midtown? Are, are they taking that account? No, I, I, I don't, there's nothing in the documents taking any of that into account. The thing for us is that the raising of the money, it's only going to be the working and middle class. It's going to be the people who are trying to live and work in New York City who are going to get the shaft as usual. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, we're going to, are we actually going to say it's better to shift pollution onto areas that have some of the highest pollution rates already? Yeah. And is this what we stand for as a city? But, but, but the toll stanchions are up. They're ready to start charging. I've never seen government move so fast in my life. <laughs> I mean, we got escalators and, and right. elevators that don't work at the train station. They're talking it's going to take a few years to oh, fix it. Oh, everything takes years. But all of a sudden, we have these toll stanchions up all over the place. Yeah. So, yeah. Are if it smells like it, it's it. What's the, what, do you, <laughs> what do you think it smells like? It smells like, uh, it smells like a baby's diaper. That's what it smells like. <laughs> do you think you have a chance? Yeah, we feel very strongly. Uh, we, you know, we did a, uh, it was a great collaboration with us and with the borough president of Staten Island. Uh, since we filed it yesterday, we have a lot of people co uh, contacting us and they're very interested in uh, possibly joining the lawsuit because everyone knows this is not about the communities of New York City. This is about a scheme.
and we have to stop it. And the scheme is what? I don't, I'm not sure. More revenue, you know, a bunch but of people they, they, sold it. But, and but they, they got to keep the, the trains moving for everybody. Yeah, and there's other ways to figure that out. And this is just a short, short thing. And really, it only benefits one little section of our city and hurts all the rest. Come on, man. Michael Mulgrew. Next time we could come back and talk about uh, what's going on in the schools, but okay. I, I know this affects a lot of your teachers because what and eleven thousand and students yeah. eleven thousand live on Staten Island. Te yeah. Your teachers, right? Okay, thank you so much for coming thank on you. Good Day New York.